Hi, boys and girls. Today's lesson for math is um, goes with unit 12.3 that you'll be doing uh, with squares and rectangles. And it's an extension of our lesson that we did yesterday. And just remember that when we're talking about shapes and we're describing shapes, we wanna talk about their sides and their vertices, okay? So here is a rectangle. We know it's a rectangle because it has four sides and four vertices. Yes? Yes. Here is a square. We know this is a, a square because it has four sides and four vertices that are the same size. If Mrs. G had a ruler with me right now, we could measure each side and they would be equal, okay? Now, a square like we learned yesterday is also a rectangle. But is this rectangle a square? Think about that for a second. The square is a rectangle because it has four sides and four vertices, just like this rectangle. But this rectangle can't be a square. Think about why not. Why can't the rectangle be a square if it's got four sides and four vertices? What's different about this rectangle? and this square. I'm hoping, because I can't hear you, but I'm hoping you said, because not all the sides are the same. They're not all equal. This side is longer than this side. So it's a rectangle, like a doorway, but it's not a square, because it's sides are not all equal, okay? So I wanted to show you this because it kind of is like the video or the, yeah, the learning bridge video that is one of your assignments. In the assignment, it talks about a bed and a rug, okay? And the quilt on the bed is the shape of a rectangle. So it's the same shape as this, okay? Or my phone. But there's squares on the quilt also. So I'm pretending this bottom part here is my quilt to help demonstrate it a little bit better, okay? Ooh. And I just scared my doggy who just finally went to sleep after I used my grumpy voice. So I'm trying not to move too much. She's a deaf dog, so she doesn't hear what I'm saying, but she feels things and she's very jumpy. And you just got her to quiet down. Okay, so like on the quilt in the story, there are squares on top of the rectangle. The squares are also rectangles. The rectangle on the bottom is not a square. So a square is both a square and a rectangle. Let's count how many squares are on the rectangle. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, one rectangle and eight squares. Now, if I was to add the eight squares and the rectangle, we could say we had nine rectangles, but only eight squares. All right, so. Let me ask you this question. Are both of these shapes squares? Think about it for a sec. 
Yes, these are both squares because the, all, the both have the same length of sets. These sides are all the same length and these sides are all the same lengths. Shapes can come in different colors. Shapes can come in different sizes. Good job, friends. All right. We'll do one more little demonstration and then you'll be done. Here's a rectangle. Is this also a rectangle? Yes. Are they squares? No, because their sides are not all the same. This one is smaller. This one is bigger. They're still rectangles. We can put them this way. Still rectangles. This way. Still rectangles. Okay. Doesn't change. They're even different widths. This one is thicker and this one is thinner, but they're still both rectangles. All right, guys. That's it for today. Hope I didn't confuse you all too much. I love you. Bye.